We live for this moment. Fish on! But how does a beginner get here? Keeper! With all the gear, it can be really intimidating for the novice. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how we get two thirds of our fish. It's surprisingly simple. Like so simple, I shouldn't be telling you this. Let me start out by telling you, you don't need all this stuff. If you first start out, it seems intimidating. You usually have a bunch of stuff. What do I use? Hoochies, rats cut plugs with a hoochie. Flashers, which ones? What do I use? Short bus, small short bus, 360. What do I use? Divers, Delta. Dipsy, smaller Don't sticks. get me wrong, all that stuff works, but I want simple and effective. Behold the watermelon spoon. What we catch two thirds of our coho on. That's it, that and a Dipsy diver or a Delta, whatever. I'll show you how to fish it. This is easy coho. I have the watermelon spoons right on the back. In the this is the boring off. stuff, the but pay attention. It is Wait crucial. I take the dial and adjust it accordingly. I can right feel you fading right away. Closer to the boat, right there. Okay, this is boring me. I got something better for you. What Grant is trying to explain here is you want to spread your gear out while trying to avoid tangles. Simple as that. Nailed it. All right, you got your watermelon spoon, five to six feet a liter, and your divers that are gonna be spread out. Now here's the proof. How do you feel? Tired yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep that chip up, buddy. Doing good. Oh, he got him. oh man. <laughs> Dang, that's Got a nice shot. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, keep reeling. Keep reeling. Don't stop reeling. Dip up, dip up, dip up, dip up. Woo! Oh, yeah. So three things that you're looking for when you're salmon trolling out in the ocean. One is rips, two is bait, and three is salmon on the sonar. Those are the three key things that you're looking for out here when you're trolling for the elusive mighty coho. This right here is an example of near perfect form. Tip up high, constant reeling, no slack in the line. Bravo. On the watermelon spoon. This guy right here, this is Brian. He came all the way up from Texas for this to catch his bucket list fish. Well done, sir. From Idaho, right? 
Texas. Are we from Texas? Texas. First coho? Oh, first salmon. The first salmon. First salmon ever. Uh, you do oh. the honors. This is the best damn job in the world. So if I would have seen this in 2015, I probably would have started a lot sooner, way sooner, because it's not that hard. Get a diver, get a spoon, get salmon fishing. That's it. So come on here and I don't know, fish with us, learn a couple things, or go out and do it on your on your own. That's pretty much all you need to go salmon fishing out here on the ocean, which for me I think is really exciting. It's not that complicated. As Mike Ashman told me, dude, this is caveman stuff. Don't overthink it. I get I excited and talk too much. Let's get back to port. I also love this part. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. What was it? I didn't get your name. What was it? Abby, nice oh, job. Wow. Is yeah. that that cool? Yeah, I got that cool. Yeah, you, you, you want to tow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want to tow? Savage mode. I like it. Thanks, guys. Savages from Bend. Right. See you guys. Thank Have you. a good one. Yep, thanks guys. Have a good one. See you, brother. Guys. You guys were great. Thank you so much. All right. That's how you do it. Go get some spoons. Come on out here and get fishing. Just need a diver, spoons, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. All right, guys, stay tuned. I got one on Chinook coming up soon. See you out there. All right, you got your watermelon diver. Damn it. Easy it was. I would have started a lot sooner. All right, let's get back. All right. She wants them to see if they are steelhead. Yeah, exactly. That's funny actually. That's dumb. I'm gonna start using that. Would you ask?